Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to One Minute Tennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about how you can get more speed out of your forehand by applying the kinetic chain to your stroke. And I want to show you a great and simple drill of how you can do this almost immediately. Now, the kinetic chain of the forehand is essentially simple as long as we don't stop it happening. Let me explain what I mean, and I'll do, I'll do it from this direction. We end the first phase of the take back, and then as we begin the stroke, then the body turns towards where we want the ball to go. And as it turns, the racket and the hand will be drawn back, and then the arm will be drawn forwards, and this will then be followed by the racket. So the stroke begins with the body, the arm, and then the racket. But it's at this point that a lot of players have problems and slow the stroke down. Because at this stage, the kinetic chain reverses and it becomes racket, arm, body. But all this is, is momentum. If we don't stop the momentum happening, then as long as you start the stroke correctly, then you will get terrific power from this forehand. Let me show you an example. So we have body, arm, racket, and racket, arm, and body. But what happens to most people is this movement here. See how the elbow, as I strengthen the muscles, the elbow is drawn back towards the body correctly and incorrectly. Now there is a situation where you want the elbow to stay close to the body. If you're moving up to a short ball and want to whip that ball into play, then the elbow comes in close to the body. But from the baseline for the standard drive where we want to hit with power and consistency and accuracy, then this elbow needs to go away from the body and then stop and allow the racket to pass. It looks like this. And the key to this is to not allow the elbow to come in too quickly. Coming into the body, going away from the body. Again, coming into the body and going away from the body. And again, from this direction, coming into the body and going away from the body. A simple way of correcting this and getting the feel of it is to force the elbow away from the body using your left hand. So make a shadow stroke and as you begin the swing, hit the elbow and you'll feel the arm and racket extend away from the body. See, I hit the elbow and the arm and racket have to extend away from the body. Again, from this direction. So even if it's natural to pull in and use the bigger muscles to try and muscle the ball, if I hold the elbow away, then the racket naturally extends away from the body. Once you've done this a few times with the hand holding the elbow away from the body, then right, try to reproduce the exact same feeling, making the stroke and keeping the elbow away from the body. I also think you can see the elbow away from the body when you're shadow stroking. Obviously, when the ball's involved, you've got to look at the ball. But as I'm looking here, I can see that there's nothing in this space here. And now I make the stroke and I can see the elbow was out here before the racket curled back around the body. Once you practice this a few times, using the left hand to push the elbow away and then feeling the elbow being pushed away, then have a friend or partner send you gentle balls and just drive that ball, recreating the feeling of the elbow being away from the body. If the feeling is the same, you should have a better sound on contact with the ball and you should get more spin and speed and probably the feeling of a little bit less effort. If you have any questions about this, then uh, talk to us in the comment section below. You know we love your feedback and we try to answer every single question. To practice this, if you don't have people to practice with in your area, have a look at our partners, playyourcourt.com. They'll find players of your level in your local area for you to practice this or any other of our ideas. It's a great service. The information on their membership with a discount is in the comments section below. And to take your game to the next level, maybe online coaching would be the solution. We're providing help for players of all ages, all levels, and all over the world. We do video analysis to begin, but then make personalized lessons such as this one for your individual game to take your game to the next level. The information on that is in the website below or simply email us. But remember, to get maybe 20, 30% more power on your forehand today, push the elbow away from the body and feel it. 
and then feel the movement of the elbow being away from the body and then hit the movement and you will hit harder and faster today. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.